This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. Robert Bama is addicted to love and in studio. Let's salute our men and women, the brave men and women of the forces. Commander Pratap Singh Mehta, Indian Navy veteran, has talked to me about the 1971 Indo-Pak War in which he fought in. He's talked to me about uh, Rajputana, Rajputana Chronicles, Guns and Glories, which includes the history of uh, Padmavati, the, the wonderful princess whom Sanjay Bilila Mansali is making a, a movie on. And now uh, he shall continue talking to us on the Indian Navy Day and Indian Navy Week. Uh, sir, it's it's extraordinary. But while I was coming up, um, the gentleman who helps me, uh, you know, bring the the car lift up into our building, was talking to me about how he goes to watch uh, the Indian Navy Day celebrations in Narman Point, you know, and it's such a proud moment for him. And here you are in studio. So, what is the day? What is the week? And what does it entail? Thank you, Rishi. Uh, the Indian Navy Day is 4th of December. This year, it's a 45th Navy Day. And Navy Day is celebrated on 4th December since 1971 because that is the day marked our naval attack on Karachi. We destroyed Karachi Harbor. They were incapacitated for next couple of years. The shipping had stopped. So that was a pride moment for the Indian Navy. And it's celebrated with uh, to showcase the naval strength, what Navy does to the general public all over India, wherever there are naval bases. During this period, we have various activities which involve general public and particularly the school children, the disabled children, they are invited for visits to the naval dockyard. They are visit the warships and we also have a naval band concert. The naval band is one of the very prestigious band of the Indian Armed Forces. They can give performance all over Bombay every week commencing a month and a half before the D-Day, which is 4th of December. And we have various competitions like Navy Marathon, the Open Sea Championship, Swimming Championships. Then there are air display for school children and disabled children. Things likewise, a lot of activities. When most of the activities have finished, now what we are looking ahead is the Commander-in-Chief of the Western Command hosts a lunch for both veteran sailors and officers. And we are looking forward to this lunch on 28th of November. And after that, on 10th of December, there is a Navy night. And again, the Navy Queen contest since 1972 has been a very prestigious event something akin to Miss Bombay. <laughs> of course, yes. the, na- the, make- the Navy Queen Ball, isn't that what it's called? The uh, cultural it calendar used to be it. called Navy Ball. Uh-huh. They have uh, re-Christianed it as a Navy Knight. Navy Knight. Wonderful. Yes. And I believe there's a bit of yoga this year. Uh, does that happen also on the 7th? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Keeping in line with the yoga fever all over the country, since our Prime Minister has popularized this p- particular... <laughs> Uh, activity. exercise mm-hmm. activity the 7th December Indian Navy is hosting uh, yoga by the bay on marine drive Wonderful. welcome if you are there please questions are welcome on the Indian Navy on the Indo Park War on uh, Rajputana Chronicles Guns and Glories the book uh, that Commander Mehta has written one space your command in name or your question in name to 53650 53650 is the in-studio SMS line on Twitter follow at HRISHIKAY tweet out the question on Facebook post on the timeline or inbox on HRISHIKAY and there's uh, our official Facebook page facebook.com slash radio1.mum like the page post on the timeline inbox and I will bring it on uh, with uh, the Honorable Commander Seal Killer right after this song conversation on INS Vikrant the legendary INS Vikrant on which Commander Mehta served.